So it's October and that means it's time to plant our garlic. I grow a hard neck because I like the scapes and I also grow a soft neck because they make a bigger bulb. We're going to plant these. I'm going to start sorting and get anything that's no good out and then we're going to plant some and then what we don't plant we're going to take in the house and preserve to use for winter use. So I started growing garlic probably four seasons ago and all I did was I went down to my local feed store and I bought some seed garlic and I got some soft and I got some hard and every year I grow more than I need and I've not I've only bought it one time and in fact I've given it to my aunts on several accounts and she now grows her own garlic too so it's the harvest that keeps on giving. about 50 heads or 50 50 cloves that'll give me about 50 heads of garlic that gives me plenty to do my pickles for fresh cooking salsa and other canning projects I like to save the bigger ones to plant and then I'll preserve the smaller ones So how do we tell a hard neck from a soft neck variety? So here's my soft neck, here's my hard neck. When I go to open this, you'll see that there are cloves all the way to the center. With my hard neck, this neck is goes all the way through, so you get less cloves. When you pull it open, There's your neck all the way down the bottom. You might ask, why do I grow both when the soft neck clearly produces smaller heads for me? Well, that's because I like to take the garlic scapes and I cook with them. I preserve them up and use them as garlic powder through the winter. And it's just nice to grow a couple things so that if I have a problem with one, then Hopefully the other one does good. Are the hard necks always purple like that or? No, this is just a variety that I grow. I believe it's music, but like I said, it's been so many years that since I bought it that I don't even remember anymore. I also find that the hard necks, uh, they don't have as good of a shelf life for me in my region. Once I get about 30 of the soft neck and 20 of the hard neck, maybe a little bit more cleaned up, I'll take them out to my garden and I'll show you how I'm going to plant them. Alright, and this is why I do this outside. Messy, messy. Alright, so as you can see, I still have plenty to preserve. This is going to be, should be more than plenty for me to plant. And I've taken some of the smaller ones out and I'll take those inside and I'll preserve them for our winter. I like to plant the bigger cloves in the garden. All right. Let's It's the end of garden season and it's kind of a little bit of a mess out here, but that's all right. So I've had this bed covered throughout the rest of summer after I harvested my spring carrots. I'm going to uncover it. I'm going to give it a good fertilizing. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my garlic ready to plant. Every year I put my garlic in a different bed because garlic is very heavy feeder. So bear with me, I'm gonna clean this up really quick and we'll get this planted. All right, so now I'm gonna weed the rest of the bed real quick. Plant dill once, you'll have it a lifetime. I use in my garden if I am going to use fertilizer. Um, it says it's organic, take it like you see it. I find that it does good, but it does have a pretty strong smell to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it where I plan on planting my garlic. use for garlic. Come springtime I'll probably plant I will probably plant onions on the other side here or something else that's an early crop possibly carrots so the bed will be empty at the same time. A little bit about garlic. I and I harvest it usually the weekend of July 4th. Uh, the garlic will tell you when it's ready to be harvested and it's just gonna sit dormant all winter long. And in the springtime, one of my chores is already done. So I'm gonna kinda work the fertilizer in a little bit and then get ready to plant. Here's the hard neck here. This is gonna provide us with those scapes to cook with if you like, or I like to make garlic powder with it. Here's my soft neck. These cloves are bigger. I like these for canning and preserving. Now I live in a zone 6 so I don't mulch it or anything like that. Once I plant it I just leave it, wait for springtime and see it start coming up. I'm just going to take the clove, push it in with my hand just about the length of my thumb, probably 2 inches. And then I'm going to come down maybe 3 to 4 inches and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to continue to do that until it's all planted. I like to wait to cover it up until after I have it all planted so I know I didn't miss any spots. Get that cover up. That's my hardneck. It's planted in the springtime. It will be, it'll wake up and start growing. All right, so here's the softneck. We're going to plant it the exact same way with the same 
amount of spacing. You know, I just realized there's something I forgot to mention. On your clove, you're going to be able to see that there's a top and a bottom. This is your top, this is your bottom. When you put it into the ground, you're going to push it straight down like this. I like to just take my thumb and push it. So it's going to be going just like that. Again, this is the top, that's the bottom. I hope you try to plant garlic this year, and if you found this video helpful, I hope you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching from Gathering Self-Sufficiency. Mm -hmm.